We get it. Nobody's perfect. Mistakes are an important part of learning. Sometimes that learning can cost you time and money. This can be true when you're filing corporate documents. Making mistakes can be costly and sometimes complicate the timing of transactions and may cause embarrassment to you or your client. This video series will teach you how to avoid 10 of the most common errors before submitting corporate documents. Our second video talked about the importance of avoiding using the wrong statue when drafting your application. Let's continue our series by discussing another common error to avoid. Number three, choosing a corporate name that is unavailable. One of the most frustrating rejections to receive from the Secretary of State is that the name you have chosen is unavailable. The Secretary of State will not allow for a name that is similar to the one that is already in their active records to be filed. Your name must be distinguishable from anything that is currently on file. Before settling on the business name you would like to see on your letterhead, it's a good practice to have your service company, preferably United Corporate Services, conduct a name availability search in all the jurisdictions you plan to conduct business in. What if my name is available in my state of incorporation, but not in the state I wanna qualify in? Many states will allow the conflicting name to be put on their record if a fictitious business name is included on the application. This option is only available for companies that are created in another state and wish to qualify their company to conduct business in a new jurisdiction. For example, a company named ABC Inc. files a certificate of incorporation in Delaware and submits an application for authority in New York. New York reviews the application for authority and rejects it because there is already a company on file with the name ABC Inc. The rejected company can add a fictitious name to the application, which will distinguish it from the existing record so that the filing can be accepted. For more information about the fictitious name process, contact a client service representative at UCS. A fictitious business name is frequently referred to as a DBA and vice versa. Some states also have restrictions on words that can be included in the name, such as university, finance, or bank. United Corporate Services maintains a list of restricted words that would be beneficial for you when determining your name. If you prefer not to use a fictitious name or did not check the availability of the name in the jurisdiction you wish to qualify in and a conflict were to arise, the company also has an option to change its name in the state of incorporation. Be on the lookout for our next video in our series on avoiding common mistakes before submitting corporate filings. Remember to subscribe to the United Corporate Services YouTube channel and follow us on any of our social media platforms. Call us at 800-899-8648, email us at info at unitedcorporate.com, or chat with a live associate on our website for help with your upcoming projects. United Corporate Services, excellent service in extraordinary times.